Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 19th of July 1848, the first women's rights convention in the United States began in Seneca Falls, New York. Originally known as the Women's Rights Convention, the event was organised by slavery abolitionists Lucretia Mott and Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Having travelled to the 1840 World Anti-Slavery Convention in London, they'd found themselves unable to participate in the event and so were inspired to take up the fight for women's rights. Held in the Wesleyan Methodist Chapel at Seneca Falls, their two-day conference set out to discuss the social, civil and religious condition and rights of women. Although some men did attend, the first day was exclusively for women. Discussion was focused on the Declaration of Rights and Sentiments that Stanton had drafted a few days earlier, modelled on the text of the United States Declaration of Independence with adjusted wording that recognised the equality of women, the Declaration of Sentiments included 12 resolutions that were voted on the next day. All the resolutions were approved unanimously, except for one. This resolution, which demanded women be given the right to vote, had been included by Elizabeth Stanton but was opposed by her friend and co-organiser Lucretia Mott for being too controversial. Others at the meeting shared the concern that its inclusion could undermine their other efforts for equality. Nevertheless, the resolution found support from Frederick Douglass, the only African American at the meeting, and was eventually approved by a narrow margin. The Declaration of Sentiments was signed by 68 women and 32 men from the 300 conference participants, and, although the document was later publicly ridiculed, it served as an important foundation for the women's suffrage movement in the United States. Thank you.